When you're inside a room and you touch something metallic, like a spoon or a pen, they feel cold to you. While when you touch something wooden or made of a fabric like cotton, it feels warm to you. But how can this be if all things in the room have the same temperature? If you like science, this channel is the right place for you. We can look at a closed room as sort of an insulated system, where all things inside of it are in a thermal equilibrium and thus have the same temperature. If something would have a higher or a lower temperature than the rest of the room, it would exchange heat with its surroundings and after a while the temperatures would get in balance. Our bodies have a higher temperature than the typical room temperature, which is why heat from the body flows into the room, but we don't cool down because our metabolism is burning inner energies. Whether something feels warm or cold to us is not just simply a reflection of its real temperature, it has much more to do with its thermal conductivity. The thermal conductivity shows us how good or bad a material is in conducting heat. For example, materials like styrofoam or wood have a low thermal conductivity and therefore act like thermal insulators. So when we get in contact with them, they thermally insulate that part of the body from the surroundings and thus the heat is kept from leaving the body. Therefore the warmth which we feel is actually our own body warmth kept by the insulator. While metals generally have a high thermal conductivity and when we touch them, they act like a heat sink, which pulls heat much faster out of our bodies to the environment. The fast dissipation of heat here is partly caused by the increased effective surface area from which heat dissipates. So what we feel as cold here is actually heat leaving our bodies much faster than usual. In contrast, if the room temperature is high, like in a sauna, metals would feel much warmer than insulators. All this leads to the conclusion that we can't actually feel the real temperature of something. Rather, what we feel is the correlation between the temperature and the thermal properties. Why does the moon look so much bigger when it's on the horizon than high in the sky? Check out in this video here. The videos take a while to make, so please support the channel by subscribing. It would help me to make more and better videos in the future.